Hello, Uncle from Tactical Gamer here. Got to, uh, we are going to now just finish off the end conditions for our mission, and then we are also going to um, create a resupply point here. So to create a resupply point, first I'm going to create an ammo box. It really doesn't matter what it is. Uh, just throw down a supply box. I'm going to name it resupply. I am going to make it so it cannot be damaged. All right, and there we go. Now, similar to some of my other missions, I'm just going to quickly create a trigger over here that will fire as soon as the mission starts and it will fire only on the server it will be activated when no civilians are present in a two meter radius and when that happens it's going to set a variable on the uh, resupply box resupply box set variable and the variable I name I'm going to say alpha owner and then I set it to be independent I can also set this variable to be a public variable for now so yeah I won't uh, it hardly matters because I'm going to use hide object global it's a scripting command that needs to be run on the server so I really only need to track the status of that variable on the server anyway so now let's make it dependent on ownership in the sector alpha I have an expression some code that can be run when ownership changes of this sector and it's going to pass an array uh, the elements 0 is going to be module the element 1 is going to be owner side so who owns this and then the element uh, 2 or 1 or sorry 2 would be previous owner side okay so we're going to use the element 1 owner side so what I'm going to do is basically just say uh, resupply box set variable alpha owner to this select one which was the group that just gained control of this sector so on the box itself I've created a variable called alpha owner and it's going to be changed every time that someone takes over the sector that variable uh, whoever owns alpha is going to be changed to whoever actually owns the group now a couple more triggers here So this is going to be hide box, which I name it so that when I enter this trigger over here, it will then give me a name when I identify it over here on the left side. Okay, the condition is going to be <coughs> something that's not true. So I use the exclamation mark to say that. So resupply box get variable. alpha owner equal to west so when west doesn't own uh, the area then what I'm going to do is resupply box um, hide object global true and then put in a hint so that there's an indication of that. Uh, resupplied alpha is unavailable. Okay, it's a repeatable trigger. Um, could run it only server only, but then I'd have to make my hint do a remote exec which isn't hard I can just go this resupply owner is unavailable remote exec 
hint and broadcast it to all machines okay so there we go okay this trigger here I can just copy and paste it I'm now gonna call it show box um, remove the not condition on the on this and hide box is false and change the message okay so that should do everything we need for the resupply let's now do the end conditions okay so in order to do this I'm going to use another function okay so let's put these over here so this is the win condition trigger doesn't matter what I name it it's just so that I can see it later okay that is the condition is going to be um, if West owns all the areas in the map which I can get by call this function uh, module sector which is just going to count the number of sectors that are controlled by the side west and if it's equal to two then it's going to say hint these sectors for 60 seconds alright that is it and then copy that trigger paste it and if this is true for 60 seconds which I put in 60 seconds down here change this to timeout timeout means that these conditions have to be true for the full 60 seconds countdown just means that once it's true it'll count down 60 seconds and then fire the trigger regardless if the conditions are now lo no longer true so this will be um, then a type of end which will win the mission okay this one here I'm going to create a lose condition copy that trigger lose trigger and that is if independent owns it owns both sectors then the message will be gain control a sector within 60 seconds or lose I'm going to copy that one now and I don't need a hint because if it is true oops for 60 seconds then I just want it to be I lose so really rough but uh, that should do it um, I just didn't name this one so now I've got all my triggers over here in the left and I can easily see what's going on so that should do it let's give it a test and uh, see how we do Alpha, capture alpha for one point. So I'll immediately get into the mission. I'm going to plop down a fire team on the alpha position, so then it should be a blue four team that'll give us a resupply box. Waiting. 
Hold on, I have blocking force here. Ready for orders. Ready. And here we go. Resupply box is shown up. Let's uh, put in change Ready. ownership and the resupply should go away. I should also put a delay on the message about the resupply going away, 10 seconds, so that it doesn't uh, override the hint coming from the owning the sector. Oh, it's completely separate. So there we go. And the resupply box went away. Oh, here's the pirate team coming from over here. Awaiting order. So you can see that the resupply uh, hint got over wrote right over top of the um, Hold the sectors for 60 seconds to win. So I couldn't delay on that. But we should be about halfway there to uh, completing the mission. And there we go. Well, it's Uncle from Tactical Gamer, and I hope you uh, enjoy creating some missions with uh, spawning in some AI for reinforcements and using sector control. Catch you in game.